hello friends today we will see mycroft ai so this mycroft ai is said as the open source and private voice assistant and the complete source code is available on github also but before going to set up this mycroft ai on your personal computer or a raspberry pi uh, watch this complete video what hidden facts are there so let's get started so this mycroft ai the open source and private voice assistant has some hidden facts like subscriptions and more so the skill set available in this mycroft ai are also having some subscriptions for those skill set also this mycroft ai has their own official devices uh, recent device is mycroft mark 2 and the previous one is mycroft mark 1 so you can go to their official website and shop from it but our focus is on to install this mycroft on a raspberry pi or a desktop so first i will install it on a raspberry pi and then i will show you some facts even i install it on desktop also then from this download section you can download a raspberry pi version or a linux desktop version so uh, i have tried both the versions and uh, believe me uh, it is really disappointing then burn that downloaded image to your micro sd card when you are using a raspberry pi image use eacher tool to complete this task if you are a linux user you can also use a dd command to complete this task for the given image when your SD card burn is successful and you start booting your Raspberry Pi with that SD card, initially it boots for 2-3 times. During this boot setup, you can complete the registration on their official website so that you can add your device. Then from the device menu, you can add your new device on their official website. So click on add device. Then Fill the relevant information according to your need. Then fill your geographical details as well as personal details like name, your place, when where you are placing this device. But the main point here is you need to add a pairing code which will be appeared when your Raspberry Pi boots multiple times and it completes the setup. So it gives you a unique code that you have to enter here now watch all my screenshots of installation steps for raspberry pi this is the first screen when you boot for the first time then select which option you want a guided setup or a just command line setup next step is a network connection setup so set up the wi-fi connection for this pycroft by entering your ssid and password Next, in hardware setup, enter a audio output which you prefer for your Raspberry Pi. So, I have preferred a 3.5 mm jack output. Next step is the microphone configuration. So, here in the list, they have mentioned some good names of USB microphones. But if you observe the fourth option, other USB microphone. So, I am using a, a normal USB microphone which works perfectly on all desktop as well as raspberry pi even i tested them with uh, amazon alexa so they work fine so i have used the similar usb microphone with this pycraft after the mic configuration it starts the audio test for your microphone it start a recording audio clip for selected configuration and play it back but here i got a little disappointment as it does not record my voice from that microphone then select the option as a master branch which auto updates or a dev branch if you are a developer so i am selecting here a master branch then it completes the remaining installation step next is whether you want to stick with the normal raspbian configuration for your password as a sudo or requires a password for sudo action so 
here I have also selected one option then this operating system has a default username as pi and default password is mycraft but it gives you option to change it so you can change it if you want it so after the completion of this setup you can see on the screen it gives you a unique pairing code like this which you have to enter here then select a voice which you prefer for your device and a wake up word for your device so that it can wake up when you call it so when you add your device successfully it shows a connected and uh, don't worry about this platform and core versions it will get updated shortly when you reboot your raspberry pi that is a installed Minecraft device now when i started a testing i found it is not responding me a per in perfect way i called Minecraft device 10 times and he responded me in a single time just saying that he has detected a voice later on i checked all my configurations related to my mic as well as my speakers so i'm getting a correct output when i run a command a play and a record so i get a perfect voice and recording and a output from my speakers then i type some input here it can detect it very well and respond accordingly later on he never recognized my voice or wake up voice and never responded me then i again verified my all mic configurations and speaker configurations all are perfect perfectly working fine but it is not get detected on Minecraft services even on output log it shows that the mic is detecting some voice but he never responded me then i gone through each and every log and what i found is very surprisingly it blocks some services if you call it again and again even i found a log where Minecraft itself blocks some services when you over call it even i found some Minecraft official services blocks it if you call some skill set very frequently then i dropped a idea using raspberry pi might be there is a driver issue with mic so that it may be not recording my voice clearly so i completed all the installation steps for my desktop also and again at the end what i found is my mic level is also working perfectly but still it is not giving me a correct response so here again it is get disappointment of using that mic which work perfectly for all the configurations like amazon alexa google and so on again i found a similar problem related to mic it detects a level but it doesn't respond me very well not very well but even he has not responded me in a single time even if all the installation steps are correct and mic and speaker is wor working perfectly fine then i changed all my configurations and tested again and also replaced my mic with another one but still the mic level is working fine but Minecraft never responded me back and later on again in lock i found he blocks again my some services then i have given a complete two days for entire log and entire configuration and found that it is not going to recognize even i have replaced multiple mics and speaker so i dropped the idea of using Minecraft ai as they are blocking some official services if you over call it their skills so give your hands if you found any problem or whether your Minecraft AI setup is successful leave it in a comment so thanks for the view and a time